Now's the time to travel and be with the people you care about the most. And at Holiday Inn and Holiday Inn Express, we're helping you be there for less. Save at least 25% at thousands of hotels worldwide if you book by September 24th. You won't want this moment to pass you by. So book today at HolidayInn.com. Terms and conditions apply. It's Team PXY on 98 PXY, the number one hit music station. And joining me in the studio right now, we've got Nate Rexinger and Kyle Matthews uh, here to promote the Skate to End Hate happening on September 8th out in Brockport. Welcome, guys. Hey, how's it going? So this is all to benefit the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And can you give a little backstory to this? Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, a couple of months ago, uh, uh, Kyle and I lost a good friend to suicide. And it, uh, it's something that's impacted our life, and especially in Brockport, we lost a student uh, from the school. Sure. And so having it uh, so close to home, we decided we wanted to come up with a way to bring the community together and sort of promote mental health awareness. Sure. In times of tragedy like this, where these just horrific things happen, you know, you can mourn and be sad, or you can try to find that way to come together. Exactly. And, yeah. and it's empowering when you're able to take that route. Uh, again, no one certainly judges anyone who goes the other way, but it is impressive to see when people think, okay, what can we do to help? Right. That's the, the initial mm-hmm. reaction here. So walk us through how this came about, how you thought, all right, we're going to put on, I mean, you guys have a lot of stuff going on. You're going to have skating, live music, raffles, food trucks. So towards the end of May, towards our the end of our senior school year, we decided that we wanted to do something more as like a celebration of life kind of um, event. And we came up with the idea that Nate's band has a big, you know, outlook, um, a big face in the industry here in Rochester. And I have a clothing company that has a relatively large face in the industry. We decided we would put our heads or put our heads together and, uh, you know, come up with something big and do an event that would, you know, benefit the community and benefit people in general and just have a good time. And when we, uh, when we started this, it honestly, it was just, uh, a couple of buddies, we were going to go up and skate and put up a GoFundMe and maybe have like a speaker with a, one person that's just going to play some music for a sure, couple hours. Yeah. It wasn't anything huge, but it just like, because the community was so into it, it just grew and grew and grew. Again, with uh, obviously, unfortunately, this is at the forefront right now, uh, especially here in, in the Rochester community, not just with Brockport and Victor, but I mean, uh, you know, every year it seems like keeps happening again and again. So yes, um, f- of course, people have been, you know, their lives have been touched by this. So you're taking it, you're turning it around, you're trying to make it positive. I know uh, Debbins, our afternoon host, is going to be the MC for yes, your event. Yes, he is. We're super excited to have him. Uh, but talk a little bit about what's going to go on. I, I kind of glossed over it there, but let's go in a little more depth. So skating, live music, raffles, and food trucks. I mean, yes. you got a good combo. Yes, yeah. We uh, we wanted to make it sort of a a day where you could bring your family. It's a completely family friendly event, uh, and you could just show up, throw a picnic blanket out or a, a blanket out onto the grass. Uh, set up a picnic, set up some lawn chairs, and just enjoy the music for the day and still uh, be able to... We have local vendors set up. They're going to have tents, so you can just walk down the strip of the... Uh, it's on a soccer field, yeah. so we have it right uh, down the sidelines and just look at what the different uh, vendors in the community have to offer for you and just enjoy some music and skating. So this is at uh, 4745 Redmond Road in Brockport. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a day-long event. Starts at 2, goes till 9.30. Uh, free entry. And again, it's to benefit the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And yeah, uh, again, the community coming together with, uh, with supporting this with local businesses, uh, especially. Yeah, definitely. Well. One, of the, one of our uh, favorite connections we got to make through this is um, I reached out to Elvio Fernandez. He's yes. from Rochester and Absolutely. he's the keyboard player for Chris Daughtry. Uh, he was kind enough that I get to go out and uh, meet Chris and the band and everyone, and we're getting a signed guitar to get raffled off. So that's our big ticket item for the night. That's and, awesome. Uh, it's something that it's been really nice getting to know LVO and just sort of grow and get him involved with this awesome event. It's good to have you know all these people involved and you know all these big faces in Rochester and around the community to be involved in such a you know necessary event. It's sure. good to see that everyone is interested and wants to contribute. Um, definitely means a lot to both us for setting it up and everybody else who's involved. Absolutely. And again, happening on September 8th, the Skate to End Hate out in Brockport. Free entry 2 to 9.30 out on Redmond Road. Big soccer field there. Lots of music. Lots of good vibes for sure. Anything you guys want to add? Uh, we just want to say thank you to everybody that's been helping us out. Just some of the, some of the big names that have helped us throughout this is we got uh, some donations from Wegmans. 
Um, Jimmy Z's has been a huge part of helping us out. All our different um, all our different artists that have been helping and just people with different raffles. We've got uh, Jaded Skate Shop, the Sweden uh, Skate Coalition. Just so many different names that have come together just to make this event happen. So thank you to everyone, and we hope that people come out and just enjoy the day. And a big thank you to yeah. Chris. Yeah, were you, were, you, were you blown away by? The response. Oh, I was so blown away. Honestly, I didn't expect this to grow at all. I didn't expect to be doing a radio interview for this or any sure. sort of interview. But um, we just sent out emails hoping for the best, and we got a bunch of responses back. And it's it's just good to know that the community does care and that they're interested in uh, trying to promote mental health awareness. Absolutely. If you want to follow along, I do know you guys have an Instagram account. Yeah, we I do. It's at the Skate to End Hate on Instagram. All right, don't miss it. The Skate to End Hate, September eighth, out in Brockport. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.